the water wars. Punjab has decided to defy a Supreme Court order over the sharing of water from the Sutlej River, saying the state will not abide by any order against its interests. Ahead of the heat and dust of the Punjab election, it's water that's raising the political temperature. Open defiance by the state government a day after the top court ordered a status quo on the land meant for the Sutlej Yamna Link Canal. The assembly passed a resolution moved by the chief minister saying the state would not abide by any order against its interests on water. Punjab has no water to share with any state, so there is no need for the Sutlej Yamuna link. It cannot be constructed. The SYL canal cannot be built and they cannot allow it to be built in defiance of the rights of the state over its river waters. Work on this canal began over 30 years ago. It's yet to be finished. Trouble began last week as Punjab passed a bill that facilitates the return of farmland acquired for the canal. A worried Haryana moved the top court after which the court ordered the status quo. What stoked tempers in Haryana further were remarks by the Delhi chief minister in Punjab defending the Akali government's stance. Remarks widely seen as a bid to win over voters in Punjab, where his party hopes to make it a three-way fight. But after Haryana's agriculture minister reacted angrily, threatening to cut off supply to Delhi, came an ironical twist. With the states bickering over water, we come to you from the Hatsni Kun Baraj here on the border of Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. This is the barrage which goes on to divide water to five different states. Haryana, Himachal, Delhi, UP and Rajasthan. I have a lot of Supreme Court that they have passed an act of the Punjab Act that the Supreme Court has taken it and put it on the state. Through a brazen display of defiance in the Punjab Assembly, the Badal government has scored yet another political victory over Haryana. With the central government playing neutral, it's a win-win situation for the Akali Dal Congress and Indian National Lok Dal, while disadvantage for the BJP. With camera person RP Jaiswal in Chandigarh, Anand Patel for NDTV. Water wars between Punjab, Haryana and now Delhi all of a sudden has come into the story. It's our competitive politics drowning out reason. That's what we are looking at uh, this evening. Joining us, Kumar Bhatendra Singh, the BJP MP from Bijnor. Uh, Talochan Singh, former MP of the Rajya Sabha, someone uh, very close to the, sh uh, the Shiromani Akali Dal. Uh, Himmat Singh Shergil, the Ahmadmi Party leader from Punjab, joins us from Chandigarh. Ashish Dua of the Congress Party. Himanshu Thakkar, a water expert and environmentalist with us. And Yogendra Yadav, the founder of the Jan Swaraj Abhiyan. We've got a big panel today, but it is an extremely pressing issue. Talochan Singh, sir, let me come to you first. Are you not in contempt of the Supreme Court by passing this resolution today? The Punjab yeah. Assembly passed a resolution saying that they will take only that decision which is in the interests of people of Punjab when it comes to water sharing. The Supreme Court has made it clear that the status quo needs to remain. Therefore, are you not in contempt of the Supreme Court? I think we are sidetracking the issue. Sidetracking, sir? Yes, because we are all now concerned how to solve the problem. We should discuss the measure to be adopted. How should we come out of the situation? If we are here only to blame whether Haryana or Punjab is doing what, one should understand the problem and what is the solution now. But then why, why pass that resolution? No. The, after all, Punjab, everybody knows, at the wrong time, the Supreme Court has taken this. Ten years, this was lying there. Nobody at, was interested no, in why the Supreme Court, Court is keeping for ten the years. Quo must remain. So ten you're defying, years you're willing to defy the Supreme Court? No, no. Nobody is willing. After the Supreme Court is the... Supreme then authority. why pass that resolution? No, no. That's what I say. Yeah. Because Punjab elections are so close. Yeah. And then everybody knows that there is a fight between political parties. Everybody wants to take credit. So the one should now see, after all, Haryana also need water. Punjab also sees there is no water available. So what is the solution? Even Supreme Court, when they decide, naturally they are again decide on certain merits so that satisfy both sides. So who should do it? That's what is the situation today. Ashish Dua, I find it surprising that the Congress Party has also endorsed the, the Satlis Yamuna link canal uh, being shut down, that water shouldn't be shared between Punjab and Haryana. Election time. Uh, see, uh, if we see clearly uh, what is happening now, I mean, if we are talking of the issue now, 
uh, it is a heady cocktail of election religion and emotion including the congress party. Uh, we, what is being played uh, right. after the drug menace that has uh, that the state has suffered uh, state has failed on all the fronts so the shirmani akali dal government uh, bjp government bjp is also part of the uh, pa part of the uh, party government in power in haryana as well as in center so as let's well. talk about punjab no, why are you I'm supporting them on the water issue I, I, i'm talking about punjab itself uh, so after the uh, uh, sacrilege issue, after the Ram Rahim issues that they failed, so now the Shiromani Akali Dal is playing the emo emotive card with the people that they're trying to. And why this, are you supporting this, them on water? This, I, I'm not interested this, in the emotive card. I'm asking you a simple question: Why do you want to ensure that no water goes from Punjab to Haryana? Why does see, the Congress Party Cong back them? Congress Party's view always ha has been uh, the, the ju judiciary. It has been subjudicial issue, and whatever has been the you know decision of courts, Congress has ab always about by. But that's not what happened in the state way. assembly. Uh, in the state assembly, you wanted to in, debate the words of the resolution. You wanted it perhaps to be even stronger, correct? The uh, uh, dilemma of the state oh, no. uh, assembly uh, would be, uh, I, I would say, uh, by the fact that uh, Governor Kaptan Singh Solanki is a state governor of both the, uh, both the assemblies. And in his address, if you see, in Punjab assembly, he is saying that Punjab has no, no water you're to not, spare. You are not answering and the question. After, after a couple of days. Simp so let me make Haryana. it simple for you. Please? you uh, Mr. Bhartender Singh, I'll come, I'll come to you in a minute. Sir, give me a half a second. Simple question. You don't want water to go from Punjab to Haryana. Yes or no? Every state uh, riparian or riparian water is the national property. Yes. Every every state. So the Congress the, Party is in favour of water going from Punjab to Haryana. But but I would but say here that uh, apart from these treaties and agreements that have happened uh, decades earlier. You're not answering the question. Uh, the decades that uh, the earlier. Now the requirement of every, every state no has answer. changed. I'm sorry, sir. The no requirement answer. You have given me that, absolutely that, no that, answer. That needs to be re-looked at. Kaur Bhatendra Singh. That's, that's the whole Kaur point. Kaur Singh. Uh, yeah. You find you the BJP finds itself in a difficult position. You've got an alliance partner that insists uh, that water cannot go from Punjab to Haryana. On the other hand, you have a government in Haryana. How are you going to deal with this situation? Well, the difficult situations will always arrive in in a water shortage country like India. We have to be more careful. We have to involve local people, local politicians before we arrive at arrangements of sharing water. Now, this has to be viewed very carefully in full detail, involving actual leaders on the ground. And so it's going to be a process. But once we start the process, it cannot be a process that is dictated by us. By, so by the process has gone on for 61 talk. years. Yes, precisely. 60, that I is mean, what it's I'm been a problem for 61 years, sir. From the time that it was initially defied I, to Haryana becoming I, a separate state, uh, to to so many agreements which took place, to what the Supreme Court did in 2004, uh, earlier on in the 90s as well. Now the Supreme Court has started monitoring the situation again. So nothing has changed in the last this was all so many decades. What is going to happen now, sir? This is happening because because the solutions are not implemented. They are put on hold. You know, problems just carry on, and then you know, and and people just do things to 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 play game to the senior leader sitting in the centre, which is what happened in Indra Gandhi ji's time. That Darbara Singh in in Punjab and Bhajan Lal were just you know play, playing uh, being the good boys and playing good politics with her. Now this is not possible until we involve leaders on the ground, until we have a proper share water sharing agreement agreed. Sir, by there is all, a proper water sharing agreement. There is a proper water sharing there agreement. There is not. Of course, then sir. Why Punjab are gets 4.22 million acre feet of water from the rivers. Haryana gets 3.5 million acre feet of water. Rajasthan gets more, 8.6. JNK gets 0.65. Delhi gets 0 0.20. This is being disputed now. this is now. a completely... This is completely wrong. Because the total amount of water available is only 6.6 .6 MAF. So the figure that the, the grand figure that you are talking about doesn't exist in reality. That's true. So we need a real agreement. That's an important we need point farmers to make. To sit on the ground and sort it I out. I take that point. Yes, we don't. We don't. I take yes. that point. I want to go. I, I want to take that actually uh, to you, Himanshu. Is that the problem? What was agreed upon in way back in 1981 and and endorsed and ratified later on is essentially on piece on the on a piece of paper that water doesn't exist. <coughs> Actually, the real problem is a larger, a failure of water management. Does the water exist just as out of curiosity? The is this volume of water there in the Ravi, the Bias and the Sutlej? See, largely it is there. 
this is supposed to be not every year. It is at a 75 percent dependability. So, there will be years when there is such a so much water will not be there. And so, it goes down. Uh, In certain years, like this is a deficit monsoon, so there will be less water. So, but it is actually, if you look at the availability of water in the northwest India, it is the richest in water resources. And if you look at the whole issue, the water management, cropping pattern and the failure of the policy and in this failure, both the central government and the state government, current and past, they are all totally involved. None of them seems to be interested in raising the real issue of to how to achieve more sustainable cropping pattern, how to achieve better water management and that is complete failure in that is reflected in that. That is why this pro problem is lingering for so long and none of them seem to be interested in this issue and that is why they are just they when election times come comes they are raising. 20 years back, in a 12 years back uh, if the Amrinder Singh government passed that legislation, the Supreme Court was handling for 12 years. It is again unfortunately that Supreme Court is taking up at this point when the elections are just due. You know, <coughs> it is a very emotive issue actually and even at the, at the apex court level what is required is really addressing this larger issue and how to achieve better water management so that so much water is available it can be handled and even rivers can have okay. water. Uh, Doctor, just, uh, just, just half a second sir, Dr. Yogendra Yadav, I want to bring you in at this stage. The Sutledge Yamuna link canal, it is something that people have been hearing for decades. It is one of those great dreams that India has had. This, this is not destined to be completed. Punjab will never allow it to be completed. Now they are saying 5,330 acres of land has to be returned to farmers and they have passed just this month, the Punjab Sutledge, uh, they have just passed Today. Uh, a, a, an agreement, the, the Punjab Sutledge Yamuna Link uh, Canal Agreement whereby all of this land goes back to farmers, right? They have terminated agreements as well. So therefore, this, let, uh, this, uh, this canal that exists is essentially a fraud, it always has been. Vishnu, uh, this dispute has a very long history. Unfortunately, most people in contemporary debates don't remember the history of the debate. And much of the questions that we are discussing today are questions which have been referred to, have been sorted out more than two decades ago. The question of how much water exists in this is precisely the question that was handed to Iradi Tribunal almost three decades ago. But what we are witnessing today is not those larger, deeper questions. I personally believe that the dispute between Haryana and Punjab is a fairly limited, delimited <coughs> dispute, which can be sorted out precisely if there is any will. Uh, and it is not really the question today. What we are witnessing today, Vishnu, has nothing to do with that small difference that does persist. Yes. And it also does not have to do with the deeper and larger questions that Himanshu Thakkar rightly raised. What we are witnessing today is a very limited question of a ruling party which has completely lost legitimacy, which can see defeat writ large on the wall, which therefore resorts to complete desperate gimmickry and we find an opposition which has no courage, no integrity to call the bluff. The Congress wants to outdo the Akadis no matter what their spokesperson is saying on the panel, what they did in the assembly was that they tried to outdo the Akhalis. They said, we are completely with you. The BJP speaks in two tongues, one in Punjab, one in Haryana. An Aam Admi Party, the same person speaks in two tongues. Yes. One in Punjab, one in Delhi. I mean, this is astonishing hypocrisy of you're, our political you're, you're, culture. And what is leading is to a constitutional deadlock. Yogendra Ji, just one second. I want to go across actually to the Aam Admi Party leader from Punjab, Himmat Singh Shergil. Uh, Mr. Shergil, why are you speaking in two tongues today? Arvind Kejriwal said that, oh, no, you know, it needs to be sorted out. Water is there for everyone. Why then did he actually say that Punjab does not have enough water to give Haryana? Because you have elections. I want to get some things factually correct. Okay. Right now, there is water sharing going on between many states, but the difference is that SYL is an incomplete canal. It is not a complete canal and this has had a very checkered history and the history is very important. If the, it's, it's been there for decades and Kalidal, Congress, BJP, they have all played political games. 
And you are now playing political games also. They blow cold. They blow. No, we we are standing by the righteousness. And because see the thing is that in I mean just give me uh, 30 seconds. Punjab has got less water than Haryana. It's a fact. Now the thing is that no, what is happening not. That's is not a fact, sir. that Mr. Badal, Mr. Badal, it is a matter of fact. It is a matter of fact. Mr. G.S. Dillon, who is an expert in, in, in affairs of water, he has made statements. Okay. Mr. Kumidan has made statements. It's a matter of fact. I will email you all the relevant documents. Now, please kindly, most importantly, now this is a notification dated 1978. Yes. This is the notification to acquire the land for SYL. Yes. And that time the chief minister was... Mr. Prakash Singh Badal. Yes. And also, the substantial part of this canal was built in 86 onwards when there was an Akali government in Punjab. Yes. And Captain Amrindu yes. Singh was the agriculture minister. And so, therefore, you are pointing out double standards. So, you are pointing out double standards, right? No, That's what you are trying to what, do. What I am saying is, what I am saying is, yes, we are exposing them. We are exposing them 16, nearly 16 years since this controversy has started how are you Mr. exposing them the 16 years later nothing. one minute this is the part i don't understand how are you exposing them 16 years later if arvind kejriwal says that there is not enough water in punjab there uh, to give to haryana are you not ex endorsing exactly what the akalis are saying now May I the thing in? is we are exposing them because now see kindly because right now kindly let me complete right now it is election year 16 years Precisely. he does nothing so, so you are the supporting them, you are supporting the point of view now. Now, no, no, we are saying that, see, SYL, SYL, it was not an agreement under normal circumstances. It was Mrs. Indira Gandhi, the, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, she, for, I mean, under pressure, like Mr. Darbara Singh, Mr. Uh, Bhajan Lal, and then later on Mr. Prakash Singh Badal, Mr. Devi Lal, they all had vested interests. And this was a loot of Punjab. Kindly, now one more thing. In Haryana, there are two rivers, Ghaggar and Yamuna. Not a drop comes to Punjab. Punjab has got lesser river water than Haryana. It's a matter of fact. I'm saying with all words at my command. But do you not? But now do you not? This was a loop. But let me ask you. Let me ask you another. Let me, let, let me ask you something. Let me ask you a related question, uh, Mr. Bhatinder Singh. I'll come to you in one minute, uh, Mr. Yes, Shergi. Let me ask you this. Haryana has now said that they will not give any water to Delhi, right? Because Arvind Kejriwal there is has said there is not enough water from Punjab to go to Haryana. Does this not put your party in a difficult situation? On the one hand, you in Punjab want to ensure that water remains in Punjab. On the other hand, you have got an Ahmadmi party government in Delhi which needs water but are now being told by Haryana that water is not coming your way because Arvind Kejriwal has said something. Don't you find yourself in a difficult position? Now please, uh, this is a factual thing. Right now there is water sharing going on. Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, it is all Haryana Delhi, it is going on. This is of an unbuilt canal. Kindly appreciate this controversy regarding SYL. Let me tell you one more thing. Then what happened? When no, about no, you are going on about SYL. I am not only sir, talking about seconds. SYL. I am talking seconds. about water I'm sharing. I am talking about water sharing. Now this... I take your point SYL. about one SYL. Sir, SYL is, uh, is the second more. Yamuna link canal is incomplete. Let us move on. Right? Yes. We are talking yes. about water sharing. And now. one more thing. Yes. Now one more thing. Yes, what happened? Uh, and this is this is a checkered history. Then, then the chief engineer who was building this canal was assassinated. The oh. superintendent engineer who was building this canal was assassinated. The laborers who were building this canal, many of them, they were killed. Himat, him, this has been himat, and himat, politicians himat, 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 you are not answering my question. To play the uh, you political. can share you can share the entire history of the Satli Jamuna Link Canal. I can share the that 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 uh, sordid history as well. We've got all the papers with us. We've done a lot of research. I I'm asking you a political question, uh, Himat Singh Shaikh. The question is this: Arvind Kejriwal has said one thing. Yes, please. You are doing something else in Punjab. Are you not in contradiction between your Punjab unit and your Delhi unit? Has Arvind Kejriwal's remarks no, embarrassed we are, you? No, we are not. No, we are not in contradiction at all. Please kindly appreciate. This is regarding SYL. Now, SYL has had a checkered history. This is regarding this canal because see, no okay. water from Yamuna. Okay, I, I want to. Uh, Talosan ji had a point to make. Go I, ahead, Mr. Bhatinder Singh. I'll come to you. Please, after. Sir, yeah, yeah, come in, please. When we are discussing, we should also realize what are the main issues also. Bakhra started in 1960. Now the 50-year, the silting of the Bakhra reservoir is so much, nobody 
has ever tried ki how much silt has gone there secondly the share of this water 8 maf has gone to rajasthan we are not ever discussing ki why the major share of the water which was available to punjab and rana has gone to rajasthan now because we need it's a desert state yes no, no after all they, they have not at all so. riparian they are not all concerned with that water anywhere the major share has gone to pakistan after all when pandit nehru decided 45 maf <coughs> was the water available so major share went to pakistan and only punjab got 16 uh, 15.7 eight went to rajasthan and only now 7. something to be shared between punjab and haryana so after you feel that rajasthan a desert state with fewer no. water resources and we are becoming haryana punjab is becoming yeah, desert <coughs> now punjab is using okay, 14 Kaur, lakh tube wells core bhatian the singh you can be very relevant. patiently go ahead sir mr bhatian the singh go ahead no firstly i would like to agree with you again ji that uh, you know that it's it's been a long dispute and we we cannot take it lightly and now with the elections just around the corner is the worst time to handle this issue because it it needs to be sorted out uh, with with balanced minds with calm hearts we cannot have election rabble rousing on one hand going on and the and the dispute being addressed on the other so you do accept so that it is election really rabble rousing time. happening in the in the punjab assembly today it's rabble rousing with elections in mind which includes your party is, with, with the election one year away who can refute that right why, why do you think the aap uh, spokesperson is being so vehement and, and and criticizing but at the same time i want to agree with him that there is nothing more irritating for everybody especially farmers than an incomplete canal why was the canal left incomplete for 40 years now country has moved on the south and the northeast are producing a whole lot of rice punjab is suffering because they have produced they have they have too much of surplus paddy in 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 the government go down so we need to look at replanning crop patterns we want to involve farmers in that we want to look at replanning irrigation waters and sharing of irrigation waters sharing it with whoever needs it even if rajasthan needs water to drink it is our country we need to supply thirsty people water well that's exactly the point sir that's what people in haryana are desperately well, saying give us water yogendra Mr. yogendra yadav I, i i found what mr bhatendra singh said really revealing that look with elections one year away who can stop politicking these are my words not his who can stop politicking as far as the issue of water is concerned isn't this unfortunate in a sense that we are we are talking about water Vishnu. a lifeline being the center of politics avishnu mr bhartendu is being candid while others are not but everyone is telling you that didn't you hear every single answer to every question contained the word election in it none of your question pertain to election every answer said election so what they are telling you in somewhat civilized language in somewhat long winded answers is well it's election year don't ask us questions sab chalta hai election year what they are doing they don't realize what they are doing here is a state assembly which is telling the supreme court of india no matter what you order we shall not implement it and here are opposition parties saying yeah 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 that's a great idea we'll all join you i mean do they realize what they are doing to the constitutional order of this country this is deadlock close to becoming a breakdown constitutional breakdown is what they are pushing with this complete irresponsibility right in the case of uh, congress and bjp i want to know what does their national leadership stand for and at the end of all your interrogation of mr himmat singh sher gill i actually know much less about what aam aadmi party stands for than i initially thought he did 